Hey Vogue, what's up? This is Troy Sivan and we are at the Cannes Film Festival. Come inside, get ready with me. Let's do this. This is everyone, everyone, this is Vogue. Hello. Hey. <laughs> We're here to premiere The Idol. I can't believe it's finally coming out. As far as hair goes, it's curly, so it's really kind of unpredictable. Whatever it's gonna do is just what it's gonna do. I've never done TV before, so I was really, really, really scared. Sam Levinson had just made Euphoria, and so when I heard that I was like being considered for the show, I was so excited, but also just like completely intimidated and nervous. And then I remember I got to the first rehearsal that I had with Lily and I was like, oh my God, how does this girl who grew up on the complete opposite end of the world to me remind me of my best friends from home, from Perth? We just like kind of clicked and there was this immediate like deep sigh of relief and relaxation. This is my first time really spending any time here and it's kind of insane when people grow up here do they just like not want to travel? Because like, why would you kind of, you know? I think if I had to walk the carpet by myself, I'd be petrified. It's like an ensemble cast. So I kind of feel strength in numbers vibes that even though it's like the most insane experience to be on the can red carpet, to be doing it with Lily or Rachel or Abel kind of like calms me down. My usual red carpet vibe is, I wish to say nice skin. I like a little glow. I like to look a little shiny, but like shiny in all the right places, you know? I just kind of want to look like a slightly better version of myself. I'm still trying to figure out how to pose on a red carpet. That's one thing I learned from Lily. I take pictures of her all the time. And when I take out my phone to take a picture, she doesn't like stop and pose. She just sort of exists in a hot way and lets me capture that, you know what I mean? And so it's a totally different approach on the carpet instead of being like, okay, look, smile, look here, smile, whatever. You should just like vibe, you know? Can is like super, super, super fancy. It's like really, really fancy. And so I'm wearing a custom Valentino look tonight. I'm gonna try and first of all, not crease it because it's like beautiful and steamed. I think they fit like perfectly. This is the shirt. Let's see? I feel, I feel really fancy, but it's just got like a little twist. I worked with Valentino for a couple of years. The first time I went to the Met Gala was with Valentino. And so I have like a lot of special memories with them. But this is the first time that they've ever done this, which was so sweet. Like hopefully I get to keep this and show my mom because I feel like she'll really appreciate that. But this is the vibe. And if I wear the jacket, I feel like you still get like a little bit of this, but I'll probably do this on the carpet, I think. Brett, what do you think? I love the jacket. You love the jacket? I do. I think I feel sexier with the jacket on and really? prettier with the jacket off. I feel shook that I'm wearing these like insanely beautiful custom clothes and then my like terrible old socks underneath. The last thing, I'm gonna wait and take the cue from the other cast members because the premiere is at night <laughs> and I've never worn sunglasses at night before. Fair enough, why would you? So the after party is a whole nother thing. We've got a couple options. We've got this really, really beautiful Alexander McQueen top. It's like a tank, but it's so beautiful. Another option potentially, this Ludovic de saint Cernan dress that weighs about 10 kilos. The thing is, it's a full on party. Like there's like 500 people and like DJs and stuff. And I want to be able to dance. So if I wear this, I'm going to have to bring an outfit change, but we will see. Final touches, guys. I'm trying to just like set. The problem with curly hair is like, this is gonna look so different in 10 minutes. I know it, but I like the way it looks right now. It's like one thing to look cool, but I feel like the thing that to me takes you over the edge to where it's like, whoa, who is that? Is scent. It's called Luca by Tsuleng Yo. I'm gonna like douse myself in it because I really want people to be like, Dan, who is that, you know? I'm gonna wear the jacket. I'm gonna fully wear the jacket, I think. I feel really good. I think we're ready to head down there. Like... 
Okay, Vogue, wish me luck. About to go do the carpet, about to go watch the show with everyone. Um, thanks so much for following along. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.